Hey guys, this is the third video in our series of making this Divergent Chill cover. Um, as you can see, Jerry has got most of the face done, filled in the outline, at least the line art for the face. And can you zoom out a little bit, Jerry? Yeah. And you can see the, um, that it looks pretty nice, um, even without being complete. Yeah. Yep, it's getting there. That line art is kind of cleaned. You know, there's still a bit, still um, some jagged edges. You know, if you really wanted to focus on that hair, I got like two little strands that's kind of uh, misplaced and all. But, you know, all that kind of nullifies when you zoom out to like the actual size, you know. But um, that's still not the, pro the finished product. Um, once I get the line and everything kind of straightened out in the form of the body done, then I can go back and erase what needs to be. Um, yeah, right now I'm actually going to focus on the body. Uh, the thing is, the underlying, the rough draft that I have here is, I'm not going to truly follow that form. It's just a nice little blueprint for me to follow, um, just to get what I want out of this picture. Um, I'm going to be kind of sketchy on this one as well. It's not going to be uh, too clean because I'm doing something totally different with the body. Uh, I'm also not going to focus on her armor just yet. And I'm going to go in and fill in the armor when I'm done getting this body in the right proportion that I want. And you can already see that uh, I kind of disobeyed what I did in that uh, the bottom layer and twisted her torso a little bit more this to the left direction. Her arm is going to drop down a little bit more. Probably lift this up. This is kind of like a second rough draft. Um, it's kind of like what I do with the body. Like the face is not too hard. That's why I have uh, less sketchy lines in the face facial area. But when it comes to the body, I really want to do that over and over again until I get it right. But I'm gonna go back to that hand later. Yeah, the body can, of course, have so many different poses, and you can take it so many ways. That's uh, always a dilemma for me, like, which angle do I want to use? Which way do I want to have them twisting their facing? And then with a the woman, um, they, they're a lot more, I guess, dynamic on, I guess, less so maybe with a little girl, but with a female in general. Yeah, they can be quite flexible. Yeah, you can um, kind of get a little more creative and how you want them because they have the slim slim figure for the most part i wonder do um do you think the chest area is a little too much for her 10 year old figure for a ten year old figure. <laughs> if i would flatten well, her up a bit yeah let, let's see if that works out i was like man if she was like a teenage then that would, that would work but yeah, that that seems like that old, and then she's gonna be kind of tomboyish. So yeah, I mean, also I gotta keep in mind that she's gonna have on these uh, armor plates, so it's gonna kind of like tighten in everything anyway. In that chain mill, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and sketch in the lines um, where I'm gonna have the armor and chain mill. there I can fold in her hand I, I'm gonna be kind of sloppy with this hand real quick Let's draw like a triangle figure because a hand holding a sword at this angle is always kind of a troublesome Yep. 
Uh, I do want to do a little bit more research on the sword before I actually draw it. I'm going to sketch out like a line just to indicate, yeah, that's where the sword's going to be. Yeah, she's totally picking out her target there. Like, oh yeah, you're mine. Yep. It's, you're the chosen one. <laughs> I'm gonna define. Do you think um, her leg needs to be a little bit more defined than that, or is that just fine? Cause I'm um, having a hard time thinking. Like, how is a ten-year-old <laughs> leg supposed to look when, it, it, when it's that defined? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I guess I would kind of go mid-range with the muscle for her. Um, she is going to be pretty muscular, so I, I would, in her case, definitely put some, but yeah, not have it like, you know, some bodybuilder, like. Right. So. Well, there you have it. I mean, I'm getting that, uh, the body defined, still a bit, still a bit sketchy, you know, and, um, I do want you to see how I clean this up a little later. I might, uh, work on a bit of this off video just to clean up some lines and everything and then when we get back I'll have a more of a solid look for you sounds good thank you guys we'll see you on the next video